Woody, as audience members, we've lived with these characters for several years now, and I, I've loved revisiting them each time. I just wonder what it's been like for you playing Haymitch over such an extended period and in four movies. Yeah, you know, I had never done a sequel prior to this, and, uh, you know, you, you hope that it's going to be a good ride, but I could never have imagined anything so fun and extraordinary and the people involved being so cool and, you know, having all become such good friends. And I, I just feel so grateful for it, you know. Like, we see each other, we hug each other, we love each other, you know, it's... a uh, it's a wonderful vibe, um, and to boot, I think we made not only you know really good, entertaining films. We made important films in terms of their message. You know, what are some of the themes that resonated for you from from this film in particular? Well, uh, I'm I'm a big believer that uh, Panem is out of control, and that we need to uh, you know make some changes in the way. Our, uh, uh, our, our governments are run and <clears throat> how much they're manipulated and controlled by uh, businessmen who basically, I think politicians are generally businessmen working for bigger businessmen, you know, and uh, that's a little side note. But uh, I think, the, I think the, you know, the, the main thing that resonates with me is just that we have a big problem in the uh, governing bodies of our world and in our individual countries, and we need to make a change. And uh, it takes the kind of courage that Katniss has uh, for, for that change to happen. And your character um, is very caring towards Katniss at this stage um, in, in, in this film. Um, what did you particularly enjoy about creating that on-screen relationship with her, with Jennifer Lawrence? Well, you know, uh, Jen is one of the greatest people I've ever known. She's incredibly talented, incredibly smart, and also uh, incredibly funny. Um, so it, it's a pretty wicked combination. Um, uh, and all that she has in her life, which is, like I say, this incredible wit and warmth and, uh, uh, you know, intelligence and drive, you know, is, uh, is prevalent in, in Katniss, you know, and are the qualities in both Katniss and in Jen that made me really fall in love with her. I just think she's an amazing person. And it was the UK premiere last night, and there were people who had camped out um, in London's Leicester Square for about five days and, night, and nights through the cold and rain. Um, you know, what do you make of that kind of dedication of fans to the Hunger Games? That's uh, extraordinary. I, you know, I hadn't been over here for any of the previous, uh, you know, times they premiered. And, uh, man, was I blown away. There were so many uh, fans there. And, and, and like you say, some of these guys camped out for days. And it's an incredible dedication they have. And uh, I tried to meet as many as possible last night, and I was glad I did because uh, I really I'm, I'm amazed by their, uh, how much they care about it, about the movies. Woody Harrelson, thanks very much. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.